It's been a few months. Been working on this 69 VW Westphalia project. Um, turned out to be, of course, more of a project than we were expecting. Um, I'll kind of go through it in sections to kind of catch everyone up on where we are, what had to be done. I took a lot of pictures, so I'm going to be putting a lot of those in place in between video to kind of help show what I did. Um, videos, I don't really like sitting there watching someone take an hour and a half to put one piece together or something. I kind of like making it move a little quicker. Um, that's just my preference. Maybe, maybe other people just want to watch the tedious stuff, but this was about the best way I could come up with to make a video that'll kind of show what was being done, what has happened, you know, what we found, kind of maybe give you some ideas if you're into a project like this to look for to help uh, kind of gauge just how much sheet metal work and panel replacement you're going to have to do. Um, I've had to go through and replace the whole front floor pan, rebuild all of the inner and outer rocker lip structures, uh, bumper supports. The bus was actually sideswiped. Um, the largest, flattest panel was pushed in about an inch and a half, and uh, someone was very artful with Bondo work and covered the whole thing in an inch and a half of Bondo. So that was fun to discover. Uh, I'm going to do a couple videos on um, how I stripped the panels. Um, I don't have the access to one of the large sandblasting machines or anything like that. So I've been doing it mostly DAs, different um, uh, abrasive pads. I think I'll do a couple tests on temperature and stuff. I've still got a couple doors in the rear hatch to prep metalwork. Um, I'm going to try to get a little bit more detailed photos on how I was fixing the problems and uh, we'll do some temperature readings with the temp gun just to see what the different pads get temperature wise how quick you can move across the material so I'll do a couple uh, more localized clips and throw some pictures in between during progress I think that'll give you a really good sense of how far we've come in just a few months on this project uh, the customer that I'm building it for is probably the best to work with ever uh, his quote of the day usually is just, you build it how you think you would. I've seen your other projects, so that's pretty nice having some freedom with it. We're actually going to be putting some uh, first-gen Camaro uh, bucket seats back in it that are pretty close to the same dimensions as the stock ones, just a heck of a lot nicer, a lot more padding, um, not just a flat foam tray kind of situation the stock stuff was. So going to make it more of a restoration, but kind of a... Resto modish, I guess, make it a little more comfortable. Um, anyways, get to showing you some pictures and we'll see how that works out. So one of the first things that I tackled was the obvious rust at the uh, bottom section of the front panel. What we didn't see until I started stripping all the paint off was the domed section where the VW emblem actually sat. That also was collision damage, uh, pushed in about an inch. So with a um, stud gun, I actually pulled all that metal back out instead of replacing the whole face of this thing. Uh, that was interesting to say the least. Also, when we pulled the windshield out, the entire lip was gone. I'll show all those pictures along the way. Um, that is actually what caused the leaking water to go inside and take out the floor pan that we had to replace. Um, interesting to note, the floor pan was the only one available was the 72 and newer which does not have the same rocker lip area. Um, they have more of a step, where this one's just rounded. There is no real like indented step. Uh, I was able to fabricate it and make it work. There are a couple differences that you're gonna have to adjust for brake pedal, um, 
The clutch pedal, I believe, lined up perfect. Gas pedal, brackets, all that stuff's different. One of the last major fabrication things that I was tackling um, was what they did to the seats. I don't know why they did that. They should have. They put a bench across it. Um, I'm guessing they did it just for wheel clearance, which we're gonna have to adjust suspension height on this thing anyway, since the rear tires don't come off because the uh, kind of the built-in side skirt. But anyways. I ended up reinforcing this whole thing with a three inch by a quarter inch steel and then stuck my studs up through. That's as low as I could get it in the bus and still make it halfway look decent. Um, owner of this thing is about my height, about 6'2". So it's kind of nice being able to fit seat, that kind of stuff. It is having um, um, slider rails, so that should make it nice. The seat backs actually fold down almost flat, so should have plenty of room. Um, I'm going to start body working this a bit. It's going to be body color, the top color anyways. I think we're going to run just the white through the whole interior. So. This center panel was by far the biggest surprise. Um, we knew that there was some rocker lip rust. I figured it'd be a fairly simple fix. I had no idea that the body damage would run all the way up to basically the body line up there, the panel line anyways. So the lower section you'll see has been basically replaced, the bottom at least foot of it, all the way across. And the lovely surprise that we found <laughs> here will, will explain itself. Um, again, there was major body damage all the way across here, knocked in probably a good inch. So it got sideswiped real hard. And of course, every panel on this poor thing had been at one time crunched by something i don't know hard to tell but this whole rear section was a just mangled mess i had to straighten that one out i didn't have a replacement panel for that side unfortunately it wasn't available at the time of course we're doing this project right in the middle of uh, part shortages so that doesn't help at all This corner, we knew the battery tray was rotted out, which is extremely common. I mean, batteries leak, it just happens. Um, so starting to tear into it a bit, ended up having to just replace this whole corner because once again, it was beaten up really badly and bondoed over. And then there was so much rust at the bottom, it just wasn't even worth trying to pull it. Uh, replaced that section I tried to keep all the original taillight holes and everything, so I kind of notched it as high as I could and brought it around the taillight area to make the everything fit like it's supposed to again. The good news was we didn't have a whole lot of damage on this edge, but the rocker lip needed to be replaced, and I believe we replaced a section in here just because of rust as well. But the 
door takes up most of the spot. Haven't gotten to metal work in that at all yet. So hopefully there's no real collision damage on that piece. Just finished this yesterday, putting this in seal coat. Um, had to do, once again, a lot of rust repair along the bottom edge of this. It turned out really nice. I did some body working on the jams and stuff like that to make it look nice. It's gonna be a two-tone paint, so that should help. But overall, coming out pretty good. I don't have a lot of time into this. Made a tricky little door stand so I could paint the whole thing in one shot instead of painting one side waiting for it to dry and flipping it over so gotta be creative When I started pulling the windows out of this thing, um, no real surprise after seeing the windshield, but every single window channel was gone. The passenger rear was probably by far the worst, which turned out much better considering the picture you're going to see here in a second. That one, that one rotted up into there it was pretty crusty i was very nervous when i pulled that window out and saw just how much rust was in this channel I didn't know how the heck i was going to get it back together and these things are all um you know pull them in with like a rope seal and uh, if your distances aren't correct you're going to break glass so that was a little nerve-wracking getting into that much rust repair around the window area that'd be something you're definitely going to want to take a note if you're looking for one of these buses at all if you see any kind of dry rotted seals more than likely just plan on replacing the, uh, the seat channel for the uh, seal itself yeah just surprise after surprise with this one And today's product plug from Eastwood is called Fast Etch. Uh, this is some kind of an acid-based uh, rust remover, and it is nasty stuff. Gloves, mask, you want to be careful. I spilled a little on the uh, concrete, and it just instantly starts bubbling, trying to eat the concrete. But what you'll do is paint this stuff on. Any cracks and crevices that I couldn't get an actual tool into to sand and grind smooth um, surface rust up on top of this roof, uh, just from sun fade and stuff was pretty bad. You can get a lot of it with the DA or the rust remover pads, um, but you're never going to get the actual kind of rust staining in the in the metal unless you grind all the way through it. And this stuff, once you apply it, you keep it wet for about a half an hour and it turns the rust black. Uh, just experimenting with it a little bit. I went back over it with the DA and it soaks into the rust and apparently just neutralizes it. So I did all of the inner uh, dripped ledge drip edges, whatever you want to call it, um, and then coated basically the whole rear section that was exposed through that uh, luggage rack grate. So anywhere that you can't get into, that stuff is a miracle. I put it on the inside of the door, um, hopefully to stop any future rust from coming through. All of these parts that hold the um, body trim seal on, I did all that stuff with it. Um, use probably a half a gallon on this thing already. It goes a long, long ways. I ordered two gallons and you never be able to use it, but that was just a nice little trick. Um, inside the channel here where you couldn't get in, you know, the inner side of the dash, 
because it's a stamped cavity. Um, I soaked all that in it too. So the main thing is just try to keep it from progressing. If you can just stop the rust where it's at and encapsulate it almost, that is key to keeping it from coming back out. So that pretty much catches you up on where I'm at currently. Um, been about three months, I'd say, uh, on and off. Just kind of hit it for a couple hours here and there where I can in between my normal job. So fun project, a lot of learning. Um, if I get a pretty good response on the video in progress so far, I'll try to do a little bit more in-depth. Uh, it's going to be completely new wiring. I'm going to restore the dash on it, which is a padded dash. Uh, we're doing brand new 1776 cube motor in it. Uh, CC, I should say. New transmission. I'm going to go through all the suspension, make it as drivable and friendly to use as possible. So I'm uh, going to be doing all the interior work. we still got a lot of metal work to do on the floor of this thing because there are some more fiberglass patches so i can't wait to see what's underneath there but anyways hit like subscribe thank you